Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Memory here. We everyone, ladies and gentlemen, for more of the Fruits Basket Greatness, this being the third episode of the second season. Previous episode, I love that we had all around. It was just Fruits Basket at its best, in my opinion. We had more Cosmo. It was great to see Cosmo again. And I mean, this man continues to climb the ranks for me in, in terms of like my favorite characters in this series. Just how he put it to, to kill his dad in the previous episode episode excuse me told him how it was defended kyo it was just marvelous it was it was great and i loved it and i love cosmo i think we're all in agreement uh on that so that was awesome in the you know with what we had in the previous episode and then besides that we had a very beautiful moment with toru and kyo you know toru started to break down a little bit which it wasn't like totally depressing to me it was good that kyo was there right because kyo kind of like helped her out obviously kind of like calmed the mood or didn't make it as depressing you know what i'm saying so i love what we have with that but it goes beyond them because a lot of the characters like all the characters are thinking about their futures what they're going to do in the futures you know what what are they going to do with their lives they're using every day especially yuki and kyo they're using every day as like a learning experience to get better as humans and our other characters are doing that as well but i love what fruits basket is doing right now it's just super relatable because we've all been in positions where we're like okay what are we going to do with our futures you know some people figure it out early some people you may already have it figured out i personally don't have what i want to do really figured out yet and that might come in you know next year five years 20 years i mean it, who just knows it's different for everyone so it's very relatable like i said what they're doing right now and i, I love what they've been doing lately so oh uh, yeah man we're gonna get into more see what we got with this episode we're starting at the very beginning Zero seconds, and we're going to get started in three, two, one, play. Dream. Yep. The classic. Classic. So what if you're a tool? <laughs> yeah, man. Uh. <laughs> Even worse. Like, I had that dream, and then this guy shows up. He shows up. Like, come on. <laughs> this lightens the mood for me, though. And I did it for us. This is better. I know how Yuki feels about this, but this lightens the mood because he was all getting a little depressed there. And Thinking about that, like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> the foundation of brotherly love. Oh! Damn! Uh, he's gonna fi He's gonna fix it for him. <laughs> he didn't even, like, apologize for it or anything. He's just like, okay, I'll fix this up for you. Here we go. I love I love Ayame as a voice actor so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh some of you some of you girls are loving this, I bet. Probably all of you. <laughs> I mean some boys can enjoy it. I'm not saying I'm it's like I'm I'm not saying I don't enjoy it or like it, you know, it's like We obviously know who the appeal is for, right, though? <laughs> so he went even extra with it. <laughs> right, right. He was dying laughing. He had tears coming out of his eyes. That was quick, though. That was quick. Huh? Well, that's where we're going. That's where we're going. Take him to this shop. That's where. This is the progress we're talking about. This is the progress we're talking about. This is a part of it too, Yuki. Yep. This is what it's all about. The change, the progress, the daily, yo, ex uh, just experiences, right? And learning experiences. And 
That's where we're going. Go there now. <laughs> and you know I always loving this, obviously, look. <laughs> Shit, bring everyone! Bring everyone! Hi! <laughs> I wasn't going to come anyway. <laughs> like, it's going to happen. You can't turn it down or go back now. You cannot go back now, Yuki. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is going to be great. Because, if, yeah, if they're going to be making clothes or, like, different kinds of outfits. Yeah, the possibilities. The possibilities, right? <laughs> Knew about the shop, but not one kind. Oh boy. Yep. See, this is what I was talking about. The possibilities. Like they're gonna get, they're, they're gonna get real crazy with it. I feel like. And like I said earlier, you, you girls are gonna be loving this, especially. I can already tell. I mean, you you guys already love it in general anyway. But you're really gonna be loving this episode, probably. <laughs> It's, it's nice how they're reintroducing the character. I know, I know for the most part, though, it feels like we've never have left. But it's not like in the premiere episode for this season, like, they threw everyone back in there, right? They've kind of done a good job at, like, you know, one by one. And with some, with good pacing, you know, reintroducing us to the characters. And introducing new characters, too. Like, we had Kazuma... Um, Momoji even in the previous episode. So this will probably be like a more lighthearted episode, I would say. I was thinking, okay, maybe it's going to be one of those depressing ones with how they started off the episode. But then Ayame burst and I'm like, okay, they're not going to tear my heart out with this one. <laughs> but we like to see Yuki... Uh, you know, making a change. So first episode, Yuki sh focused primarily. Previous episode, mostly, yeah, yeah, mostly Kyo, and now more Yuki focus. <laughs> it is Sunday, so maybe they're maybe not open. <laughs> he's he's not open. <laughs> that little stutter though. <laughs> I mean, it looks. <laughs> yeah, it's a Sunday. They're closed. I mean, it it looks it looks nice in here though. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Wait, what? This is what he was gonna wear. This. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, I was like, this is. Maybe, I guess he wasn't expecting them to come this early. <laughs> Wait, a man's gonna wear that wedding dress? Okay, okay. <laughs> that works out. Seems like a bit of everything, yeah, when it comes to like crafts, dressing. Or was like in awe. Put that on Toru right now. <laughs> Let Toru wear that right now. <laughs> Don't gas him up too much, Toru. <laughs> That's facts. That's that's true. They're very popular. 
and we love them. There's a buddy outfit too. Like, can Toru please try some of these on? I mean, I want to see the other Yo Yuki try some of this on too. But it's uh, me. I'm going like, especially for like Toru. <laughs> everything. I want to see everything. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't get as crazy as it as like I think Ayame's just a outlier, right? I don't get as passionate about it as Ayame, but he's right. He's right. She just decided to wear it. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah, it's cute. It's cute. I kind of like this girl, too. She's she's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I like where she's going with this. This is my girl. This is my girl. She's going to make it happen. <laughs> Yeah, make it happen. Make it happen. Yep. We're going to have the perfect dosage of Yuki tried stuff on and Toru tried stuff on. So this is this is the episode. <laughs> this is about to be glorious. <laughs> that. I got to see what this that is. <laughs> she has her in a freaking headlock. Oh my god. <laughs> and this allows Ayame and Yuki to have one-on-one -on -one time. <laughs> I mean, in a way, I mean, you wouldn't be brothers if you didn't fight. I mean, I have a brother. You guys know this. We fight. <laughs> we, that, I mean, that's just a normal thing with a sibling your relationship. I have a sister, too. We fight. I mean, we all fight. Some more than others, but... <laughs> like I said, I'm not as passionate as how she is about it and how Ayame is, but I, I'm still for it. Like, I still definitely want it. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't even have to make me say it or ask. <laughs> I'm going to kill them. I always see it. You know, we saw the stuff with Kyo's dad and you know, with his parents, right? And now we're getting the, um, you know, kind of Yuki side of things. I don't think he should put himself through that. I don't think he should put himself through that, honestly. Wow, really?
what he turned a blind eye or he didn't didn't do anything. Damn. But as time went on, like time went on, did he like feel terrible about feel terrible about that? Or, like he should have done something. Yeah. So now that he if he gets it now. Like, if he would have understood at that point, he would have helped him. Or he would have done something. More than likely, right? <laughs> that is probably the best option here. <laughs> Honestly, though. <laughs> But it also could be a disaster, too. <laughs> so, I don't know. But I still think it's the best idea. I think we probably all felt like that before. That's felt that at some point too. Right, like I was saying, don't put yourself through that. Yo. That's what it seemed like with the, the, you know, that scene, uh, how he kind of was leaning on Mine and like all that. Like, I was like, man, they're like, they're like that, aren't they? <laughs> like, damn. But yeah, sh he has someone like that for him too. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. That's what I'm saying. There's nothing wrong with that.
This is a similar case to like how Kyo and Yuki are. It's, it's it reminds me of their sort of thing a lot. Which I mean, Tor already kind of compared them to that, so. Let me see Toru. Yuki's about to be mind blown. Watch. I think we're all going to be mind blown, but. Yo. Holy shit. Frame it. Poster it. <laughs> Put it on a canvas. I don't know what, I don't know what you got to do, but. My God. She won't even look at them, too. She's so nervous right now. <laughs> but it looks fantastic. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. He definitely deserved that. Mide, thank you for... And I am it too. Thank you both for making this happen. I <laughs> I don't think that's no. Nah, I don't think that's the case. I don't think that's the case. <laughs> but it's acknowledging and accepting those things and you know the way that he is and understanding that that'll oh that's that's definitely a the plus yo yuki that was smooth <laughs> Yo, Yuki, you, you're sly, you're sly. <laughs> oh, poor Tora, man. She must... She must... I know she's obviously embarrassed, but it's probably on another level. Like, now, especially. I was going somewhere with what I wanted to say, and then... <laughs> Yuki did that, so I kind of got interrupted. I just forgot what I wanted to say, so I think you guys knew where I was going. <laughs> uh... <laughs> he didn't even say anything, like, <laughs> right. <laughs> we got to see Hattori again, too, so that's cool. Um, this, this, is a, this is a great episode, again, just, like, kind of like what they did with the previous episode, like, a good balance of, like, not totally, like, sad, necessarily, but, like, a, a good mix of emotions, you know, felt throughout the episode, kind of like how the previous one was. And, you know, this one was just, you know, with Yuki focus. Which you can really relate, like Ayame and Yuki's whole relationship and their interactions. It does remind me a lot of Kyo and in um in Yuki. But um, where I was going with that, I think, was like, it's accepting and under you coming to understand and and be on the same page with his brother that is gonna make their relationship and their in their bond deeper and, and closer right and it'll make it uh 
Although we didn't see it there towards the ep- end of the episode because they like started arguing and they, or they were teasing each other. Well, Ayama was teasing him and whatnot, and Yuki was getting pissed about it. Th- there's still going to be that, obviously. That's what you're going to have if you're siblings. You know, I think every sibling relationship is like that in one way or another, you know? So, but it, it, this right here is going to make... You know, this, is, this is a good step for their relationship, right? And especially from Yuki's side and point of view. And we, I mean, we even got... Ayami's like perspective on it even a bit in this episode as well, so it was a it it was a good good episode for you know to focus on the two of them you know the two bros primarily Yuki's perspective and all that but it, it was great it was it was a great mix of everything I mean we got to see Toru in that in that dress dude Mine thank you which I actually I like Mine quite a bit I I don't know if we've I don't remember honestly if we saw her before. If we did, maybe it was like very briefly. I think we have saw her before. Maybe I'm just not forgetting. But this was like I would say her like maybe official introduction. I mean, we got her and uh, more so in this one. If we did see her before, I could just be forgetting. So I'm sorry if I did about that. But I, I like her. I, you know, it seems like her and and Ayame are like this, and I I like the two of them. I, I you know I like how they're both kind of passionate about. And she's also passionate about. Ayame having a better relationship with her brother as well. So I, I like that too. But they're both very passionate, obviously, about what they do. So it's cool to see uh, that for sure and, and kind of what they did with this episode. So good mix of everything once again in this one. I feel like this is just another one of those episodes where it's just fruit's basket at its best, honestly. And I like what they touched on in this episode um, as well. So like I said, like I've been saying, every episode, every day in this series is just one day at a time new learning experiences getting better you know as a person as yourself and you know moving forward that's i i like i like what they're doing with it i really do i know i sound like a broken record but that's you know that's just how i feel about it and i'm gonna, I'm gonna keep saying it so they gave us a lot of good stuff in in this one for sure so uh yeah let me know what you guys thought of this episode of fruits basket everyone if you did enjoy my reaction to this episode make sure you drop a like subscribe if you're new And I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out.